Hi, I'm Che. I'm one of the founders, one of the inventors, and the CEO of Altwork. I want to talk today about a great article that we read in Fast Company on Jonathan Adler by Elizabeth Sergan. This was an article that really came down to the idea of it's time to stop improvising our home offices and came up with four ways to improve your home office. The biggest message on this is he is a high-end interior designer, very famous if you don't know him, but the idea that good design is an antidepressant in his mind. That's his quote, I love it. He said, uh, good design is better than Zoloft, if I remember right. And what I love about that is the thought that it's time to stop improvising, but that doesn't mean we can't make our space better than it was before. So what we're doing here is we created a small home office out of a space that really wasn't very useful in this house. It's five feet wide here and it comes out about five-ish, six -ish feet. But this was a, a space that was really hard to use. So we found this corner and we wanted to create both a home office and what we're calling the Zoom corner. So the one of the other ways is make sure you think about your Zoom corner. I've seen a lot of people do a lot of just not great uh, meetings because they're clearly somewhere where they, they just don't have a space set up. It isn't thought about, it's cluttered behind them. Usually worse than that, the lighting is behind them, so maybe they got a window behind it, but they look like a shadow. All that stuff needs to get reflected on. But once you get the basics covered of lighting and a position and a background, what Jonathan did is he said, here's three things to think about as you are considering your Zoom corner. One, something about you personally, something about your passions, and something about your work. Now for me, my work shows through with the alt workstation. This headrest shows up in all the Zoom meetings, and we get comments about this all the time from alt workers um, from in our customer feedback of people that will be on these big Zoom calls and before they're getting started when everybody's chit-chatting, people will say, oh, what's, what are you sitting in? How's that work? And then they'll show them that they can go back or stand or any of the other fun stuff. So that's really fun. So for me, my work shows through, right? From a personal, art is very important to me and also family. And this is one of the uh, things that I think is just really fun. This is, this is a, a picture that at first glance you would expect, oh, it's some ancient picture. But of course it's really a picture of my wife um, superimposed into that. And then we worked with some artist friends to bring that, that basic picture to a next level of detail to get some more nuance in there, to get a right frame in there, to uh, get the plaque. Those were very common in the uh, 1800s, 1700s on little plaques about what the picture was about. And that's just fun. So for me, one of the things that I like is I like art that has a bit more depth to it than you see at first. That if you don't want to recognize it, you can walk by and you'll never see it. It's just another painting, just another sculpture. But if you do spend time with it, there's a level of nuance, um, maybe some humor, something in there that causes you to get in there a little bit deeper. So that's a great example of that. Another one of our passions um, for our honeymoon, we actually did La Carrera Panamericana, which is the big road race from Guadalajara to Texas. It's been run, started in the 50s. It's the reason the Porsche Carrera is called the Carrera. If you've ever wondered why a German car would use a Spanish name for race, that's why. So we ended up taking second in class in that race. And, you know, the trophy's a wonderful little reminder of that. So this space here is clean enough, uncluttered enough to be very comfortable. And that's one of the things that I like about the alt workstation is I have had very large desks in the, in the past. And, you know, from a mindfulness point of view, we're supposed to work on one thing. We know it's the right thing to do. We all know that. But we end up with stuff. It's a big desk. In the magazines, they're always clean. In reality, they're not. 
And what, one of the things that I love about what we did with the alt workstation is the desk is just big enough. It's big enough to work, you know, spread out your, your uh, input devices that you'll need, of course. And if you need to put a little reference material, paper, a list, that kind of stuff, you can do that. But what you cannot do is stack four projects on it and keep yourself distracted throughout the day. You can one project at a time. I use a side table next to me. Uh, side tables are fantastic and it gives you that place that's just the way. I have my screen set up so I have my one area that I work on. I'm not a, I'm a curved screen person instead of a dual screen person. But I have my one main work area and then I use my laptop as a secondary screen for those things that I need to store work on. So I'll move windows over to the laptop and then just store the work there until I need to reference that particular material back and forth. The screen's big enough that if I'm doing something where I would normally use two screens, I can split screen it that way. So, back to Jonathan Adler's thinking, just because it's time to stop improvising, it's time to get very comfortable with your home office and make it something, the old workstation can support your body better than anything else, and from standing to full recline, depending on the models that you pick. But a little bit of art, a little bit of a plant, a little bit of comfort about who you are and what is important to you in that space, that brings it to the next level. So not only are we gonna be working long hours at our computer, that's a given, but that doesn't mean we have to be unhappy and uncomfortable doing it. The Outwork Station is here to make you comfortable when you work those long hours, and the rest of a little setup like this can make that a, just a much happier experience. We've got one more thing to talk about. So, I really love working with paper for initial work where I don't know where it's going to go, right? I just find it viscerally pleasing, and I know I'm not alone. I know a lot of soft devs that come up with the architecture on pen and paper before they bring it into reality, right? So today we're introducing the Altwork Notebook. As you can see here, have our logo in it, elastic closure, and of course, since we're Altwork, it's magnetic. We still get questions from people how does the keyboard and how does the mouse stay on? Magnets, they're like magic. So this would be a great example of what we like to do here. I can move this out of the way. Notebook goes there, opens up. And this is actually the first one. So uh, several of the people that were involved with this went ahead and signed it. We went with the uh, the dot system, very light dot system, so you can have the lines, but they're not intimidating or they don't dominate the picture. And then since it's magnetic, it works that way. So with this, thank you for uh, joining us. Thank you for uh, taking the time on this video. Really hope that you can create a small space, but a space that is about you and helps you be comfortably both physically with the alt workstation and mentally with the space you've created around you. Thank you.